Here we are again. We're just testing. Hello. We're going to show you number three. Why are you trying to save a dead joke? <laughs> hey guys, I'm Grant Carter. And I'm Paul Carter. And welcome back to another video of Do You Know What To Do. Uh, today is January 18th, 2017. Yes, welcome. we got a unique situation where we have a sofa that's 51 years old. The right. couple bought it when they were uh, newly married. So it's very sentimental. It is. And they want to save the fabric as well. But the foam is deteriorated. Because it's natural foam rubber. It's Yeah, that's what they used 51 years ago. And today they use polyurethane, which uh, doesn't crumble like this, but it does lose its shape. Right. Where foam rubber would keep its shape, but then start to crumble, and then eventually lose its shape. So I hope that makes sense to you. But we thought you'd think this might be kind of neat, so we picked it up in our trailer. We're going to bring it in here and show it to you, how we're going to remove the fabric. Mm -hmm. Keep the existing fabric. Because that's sentimental to them. And mm -hmm. they, you know, it's, in, it's in pretty good shape. It's okay. But they like it, and that's what really matters. And I think we can pull this off for them. Definitely. Okay, so let's go out there and get the sofa and get started. All right, we'll be right back. These are the cushions. They want to replace these too. We need the measurements. All right. So you see, we got the sofa in here. It's still in you know good shape, other than the foam deteriorating on the sides. These are zigzag springs. The burlap's still in great shape after 51 years. Uh, you can see how it's attached over here, the arms, that is. Uh, it's a nice design. It's a sturdy, sturdy piece of furniture, except for the deteriorating uh, foam rubber. So it's nice and easy. Just take that off, and this arm will be removed, and then Grant and I can start working on that. But there's a problem over here. When they were shipping it to their new home, United States, unfortunately, this arm was busted. So they had it repaired when they got here. Uh, the persons did a great job. It's, it's nice and sturdy, the repair job. They put a corner block in. There's not one on the other side from the factory. And then they put these dowels in like so. And it looks like they, they obviously glued it. But they don't have the bolts anymore. They have the one down here, okay? But they don't have one up here in this corner block. So Grant and I would like to just take a reciprocating saw and cut this, you know, around the leg, not cut the leg, and knock these out. But we got to save the fabric for the client. So we think the best thing to do is to drill out the... Um, the, the, the dowels that they put in there and then get it back together the way they had it nice and sturdy but listen to this see this is what happens to uh, authentic foam rubber over many many years so yeah, it's all collecting down here when I open this up and Grant and I this whole thing is just gonna look at that it's just gonna fall down to the ground so polyurethane doesn't do that but it does end up losing its shape and its ability to, to spring back where this here <clears throat> will keep its shape a lot longer but once it starts to decay from oxidization or the sun shining on it, it's gone. It's over. So we're going to need to replace this and this. The purpose of what we're doing right now is to take this arm off, carefully take out the staples here, peel this back, get a broom, clean up all the mess, then measure what size foam they had. It's kind of an easy job. And then we're going to scrape away, clean off the sides of the wood. I'm hoping this is how it goes because I've never done this before, this particular style. And then order the new foam. Put it on, slip this back over, and staple it down. But you keep on watching, you'll see how we do it. So as you see, we're just taking out the bolts right now. Thankfully, this is the simpler side. They have a little spacer right there. So it evenly distributes the, um, the pressure of the bolt that's holding it on the arm. And you hear it starting to separate. I don't yeah, think they I'm added hoping. any glue right here. I'm hoping. I hope this thing just, just comes off and take that bolt off. Now the other side's going to be a lot harder. Like I said, we're going to have to drill out those dowels. Okay, let's push this up. Yeah. Also, if you have a ratchet, it's a lot faster with that. But wrench first, perfect. Alright, we you just come over like that. Oh, check it out. That's kind of cool. First leg, second leg. And actually, before we start doing this, do we have a Sharpie in here? No, we got a pencil. That'll work. Just to Put rear, rear leg or something there? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Right. Put R on there or something. Or like on the inside here. Pull it out. Yeah. And yeah, then, put an R right there. Yeah. R. I put it on the back side too so they won't see it. That's a good and idea. then this one went like so. So we're going to yeah. put F for front. And then just 
for the heck of it. Make a line here, a line there. Should match up somewhat. Yeah, it should be fine. All, All right, see so that arm comes off. All right, and let's see here. Is there anything in the inside? I feel something. I do. I do. So let me look in there. I see a little bit of looks like a bolt. So what we might have to do is take off the outside back, okay. and then there's going to be a bolt near the back of the sofa. Which Undo makes that. Sense. And then that'll come off real quick. So we're gonna get back to that after this. I don't know. It looks like a. It does. It does look like a bolt, but I think it's actually a, a like a bracket. Okay. See if you can pull it. All right. Let's go ahead and push it down. Move it. It's stuck. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Not bad. All so right. it's just a little uh, screw that so we, uh, yeah goes into a bracket. All right, good news, because you don't want to be taking an outside back off. No. You don't, I, I mean, it made sense, you know, that they'd put a, go from the outside back and put a bolt in to secure it. But there's some smart people there. All right. That, that's good enough. So look at all this just filled with foam. This is the foam. I hope you can see that in the camera there uh, where the flashlight's shining. That's just a bunch of foam there. So let's lay it down right here and then start taking it apart and see what we got. All right, sounds good. So now we're just taking out all the staples and we're just going to give you a bird's eye view of what it looks like. Okay, so Dang, that's a lot of that's terrible. Yeah. We don't have time to show you just yet because we got to head off to DC. Right. Okay, but we got all the staples off, and um, we'll see you just shortly. We'll be right back. All right, so we just got back from our pickup. Actually, it was the other day. Uh, it Yesterday. Took a bit, yeah, yeah, it took a little bit longer than we expected. We had other things to do when we got back as well. So we're gonna go back to this, and we're gonna take off this uh, fabric as well yeah. and show you what it looks like. Yeah. See, uh, we haven't looked in here yet, but you see this stuff just crumbles like that and turns to like sand and isn't it uh the filler for well, it that, the sand? that's what i heard that filler was a sand or a um sand was a filler for the uh foam rubber wow. um so that's what i heard this is gonna be a big old mess now just real quick before we go on this is a beautiful foam i love this foam and that's what this is this is a uh, latex foam you know rubber and um, latex foam and this is polyurethane foam Okay, this here is an oil byproduct. And, and it would never break down like latex, right? It would never do this. It would never do this. But what's really weird is this stuff is, is excellent. And they drill the holes in there to control the compression. At least that's what I was told, okay? They drill these holes in there, and that, that helps it make it softer. If not, it'd be really hard. But um, at least that's what I was told. But this right here is almost like brand new. And it's 51 years old. So this stuff is great if it can somehow be sealed from uh, the air and the light, which sounds ridiculous, but if it, if that could be accomplished, I no telling how long it would last. So it needs to be in space. Yeah, pretty much the astronauts, right? Um, which I think that's where they got the memory from. That's true. That's from right. The, uh, the shuttle or something. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off and see what we got here. And all we're gonna do is measure the foam so we can replace it. And it's amazing how much this stuff crumbles. Let me just take it off like this. Yeah, I can. Do I can't do much, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, they, it looks like they, was that bevel? Yeah. yeah. They curved that, that wood, that wood right here. It's beautiful. Oh, this is the stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, God. All right, here. Let me flip this thing over. Woo! And that's why you're going to need a spatula or, um, what is that called, a putty knife? Yeah, to scrape this off. Yeah. So I got to do the measurements here to bring this, this arm back to life. And it's going to be kind of hard because I'm not exactly sure uh, how I'm going to measure it. But I'll get something going. Also, what's important is the band size. So I need to take in consideration the, the wood and then the, uh, the, the band size and then fill it in with foam. Right. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So this is a mess. As you can see, this thing's full of decayed latex foam and just turns like... Was it like a Cheeto? Yeah, it is. But it doesn't smell like one. No. And it doesn't taste like one, trust me. No. <laughs> so that's it. So I'm going to measure this, order the foam, and then we're going to get back to you and show you uh, what we do to uh, glue it on and then slip back on the old fabric and give it back to the couple. And they can have, hopefully, another 51 years out of it. Yeah. And, and real quick, too, you can notice with this one, this one is, isn't as bad. But as, as soon as you push your finger down into there, it starts making these little divots. So it's just about to turn into this powdery mm -hmm. stuff in there. So that's the process right there. 
Yeah. It's crazy. Weird. All right. So now you know. So we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.